What's up everyone, in this video we will cover Dropbox versus iCloud. So let's get started. The initial functionalities and reasons are somewhat different. iCloud is a cloud solution for personal users. It works great with Apple devices including Mac, iPhone and iPad. You get a folder to access the drive on all the platforms. Of course, iCloud is used for backup and restoring purposes mostly. Dropbox on the other hand is an all-rounder and they offer plans for individuals as well as teams. It can be used for personal stuff but I won't recommend because it only offers 2GB of storage which is not enough in this HD world. Moving to platforms, both are available for desktop PCs. Dropbox is also available for Android and Windows Phone. Both can also be installed as a progressive web app on Windows PC on Microsoft Edge. Progressive web app takes less space compared to the actual desktop software and it uses the browser's resources. For example, if you install iCloud on Microsoft Edge, in Task Manager and in Battery Settings, you will see Microsoft Edge while using iCloud. To download the PWA, you can go to the website, for example, dropbox.com or iCloud.com and on the right hand side, in the settings, you will find apps and under that apps, you will find an option install this website as an app. Before we move on, iCloud is also available for Windows PC. The software can be installed from Microsoft Store and it can be used to access photos, drive and contacts and you can sync your data including anything manually. When it comes to the supported files, there's a huge difference. With Dropbox, you can preview and play photos, videos, archived files, documents, etc. You can even create Google Docs and Microsoft Word files with one click. iCloud on the contrary does not support as many extensions. On their official website you won't find a lot but there are a few listed. And of course after testing I can assure that iCloud can preview and play some photos, videos and some text formats. Anyway, let's talk about the apps. Now iCloud doesn't support any third party apps but Dropbox does. You can install and connect plenty of applications with your Dropbox account. For example, installing Canva app will allow you to create images and infographics and of course edit the existing images quickly. In terms of the upload limit, I believe it's a tie because both offer to upload a file of maximum of 50 gigabytes. The final round is about pricing. Dropbox offers individual as well as team plans. The individual plus plan gives you 2 gigabytes of storage for $10 per month. You get access to smart sync, document scanning and a lot more. The individual professional plan offers extended features and it of course costs more than the plus plan. With Dropbox, you can't choose the location for your data unless you have 50 or more members in your team or in your business. The business plan costs $12 per month per user if paid annually and it comes with some team focus tools. You get access to 5 terabytes of storage with standard plan. iCloud on the other hand offers 50 gigabytes, 200 gigabytes and 2 terabytes of storage where you pay $1 for 50 gigabytes, $3 for 200 gigabytes and $10 for 2 terabyte storage. You can also share your 200 gigabytes and 2 terabyte plan data with your family members if you are eligible. Anyway, there are plenty of features which make them great but I will end this video here because the information in this video is pretty much all you need to understand both and select the ideal app. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it helped. Please let me know what you think of both in the comments down below and of course subscribe for upcoming videos. Stay safe and take care.